Hi, I'm McGill, and this is Things You Can Do in Space Station Silicon Valley. Episode 29, Shifting Sands. Are you ready for the weirdest level in the game? I am. I've been excited to share this level from the start of the series. So let's get to it. First things first, the TV jump. We can skip the eponymous shifting sand puzzle by just jumping on the terminal and then up to the kangaroo. Real quick while we're here, we're going to adjust the camera just so and get a glimpse of something weird. A glimpse of something to come. Then it's back to doing things. Have you ever wanted to get back to the start of the level? Well, if we use a turbo launch, we can. If you fly around enough in this level, you come to realize that the game actively pushes you downward when you start flying beyond a certain height. Presumably, it's to stop you from flying back up the waterfall. But that downward action is nothing compared to the power of the turbo launch. Up we go! The game really hates that we're up here, and it shows this by stopping us from flying as high as we'd normally expect to. That's that downward action I was talking about earlier. The closer we get to the starting point, the lower we are forced to fly, until we're literally stuck on the ground. It's kind of fun to just wander around here a little bit, watching the vulture vibrate on the floor. Sometimes you end up in the wrong place, and the game just kind of squishes you and you die. Oh well. <laughs> and now for the big reveal. We can do an Evo launch with the Desert Fox by swapping into it while holding B. This lets us offset Evo's position relative to the animal so that when we swap out, we can get out of bounds. If we launch just far enough, we can land on top of the wall and get a good glimpse of the level. Or should I say, levels. That's right, this level is actually duplicated. But why? Well, it has to do with the shifting sand puzzle, the one that we skipped with the TV jump. When we go into the tent, we trigger a sandstorm that pushes sand around to change the landscape, creating new ramps we can walk up while removing old ramps. At least, that's what we're supposed to think. What actually happens is that the game teleports us to a duplicated version of the level, where everything is the same except for the sand ramps. We can actually see this teleportation in action if we trigger a sandstorm and then swap between animals. The animals can get teleported mid-swap, forcing Evo to fly across the level to reach the animal that we're swapping into. This teleportation strategy that the developers use to create the shifting sands effect causes some side effects for the level. The most noticeable one is for the vulture. The vulture is supposed to fly back and forth on its ledge. 
but if we are in the wrong version of the stage, the vulture gets stuck flying left. My guess is that the vulture got teleported, but the vulture's pathing script didn't get teleported with it. So the vulture is trying to get back to its programmed path on the other version of the level, which is far to the left, and so the vulture just keeps trying to fly to the left, but it can't. The second effect likely goes unnoticed from most people, because most people don't try to fly back up the waterfall like we did earlier. Basically, in the duplicated version of the level, we can't fly back up the waterfall. Why? Because that's not the waterfall we fell from. It's a different waterfall. And behind that waterfall is just a wall. And you can't fly through a wall, so you can't fly up the waterfall. Makes sense. Here's something fun that happened to me by accident while I was recording footage for this level. If you're swapping between animals while the game is teleporting the animals, and you do it with just the right timing, you can soft lock the level. This has never happened to me before, and I actually didn't know it happened until I went around and looked. My guess is that this is a frame perfect glitch, where I completed the swap on the same frame that the game was teleporting the animal. During this time, the animal changed from deactivated to controlled at the same time that the animals were supposed to be teleported. And this change basically prevented the kangaroo from teleporting. And now that I think about it, this might actually be related to the hyena duplicating glitch from Jungle Jumps. As far as I know, I might have even created a duplicate kangaroo on the other half of this level. It's totally possible, but I can't check because apparently the area that triggers the sandstorm also gets teleported with the sandstorm. So going back into the tent does nothing because that trigger area is no longer in the tent. It's in the duplicate version of the tent. So as it stands, we're just kind of stuck here. I guess if you mess around long enough, you'll find some more things you can do in Space Station Silicon Valley. And thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some more SSSV stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch to catch me playing this game live. That's everything for now, so sleep tight and good night.